right guys, it's that time again. This is our third seed haul video and it's from a company that I'm sure 90% of you know about. This is a Bigger Greek seed haul. We're just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We've got a number of seeds here. First up, we have this Wild Rocket Arugula. We have the Japanese Giant Red Mustard. This is another one that my mom is super excited about. We have a Thousand Head Kale. And as you can tell from the seed packet, these leaves are massive. All right, so next up we have this walking stick kale. Now I have seen several videos about this kale and it's more of a novelty thing for us personally, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> Cause if you see how tall that is, that's, that's amazing. Here is another name that I'm probably going to butcher, Trongchuda kale. It's got a nice flat leaf. Next we have some purple lady bok choy. They have a purple version. It's a striking contrast. There's a lime green stem and a dark purple leaf. Next up is the one and only carrot we ordered from them, which is the new Kuroda carrot. It's a short, fat, kind of oblong triangle shape. This is the Bikinio yellow pepper. It's a very small pepper and it's got a nice little heat to it. I'm not a big spicy person fan. Um, so the next two I'm excited about. This bad boy is a habanada. It looks like a habanero pepper. It's, it grows like one, but it's a sweet habanero pepper. It has very little to absolutely no spice to it. And I'm a baby, so I like sweet peppers, and this is exciting. <laughs> Next is another one that is grown like a hot pepper, but has zero spice, which is the Nottapino. Um, another one I'm really excited about because I, I suck at spicy food. I really do. So this is exciting. I can eat one like it's candy, and people look at me and think that I'm awesome because I'm eating a jalapeno, but I'm not. It's a Nottapino. Yeah. This is a Baker Creek bestseller. It's the Brad's Atomic Grape. Now we haven't grown these before, but I'm really excited to try because they are one of the most beautiful cherry tomatoes, or grape tomatoes rather, that I have ever laid my eyes on. They are awesome. I know why they're a bestseller. Here we have a spoon tomato, and these are one of the smallest tomatoes that I think there is. We ordered a lot of tiny varieties of tomatoes because the big beef steaks just don't last around here in our heat and humidity they split the birds get to them the bugs destroy them before they're ever even close to being ripe so we do a lot of cherry and grape tomatoes and this year we're kind of experimenting with some tiny tomatoes next step is a ground cherry now these are what i'm ecstatic about this year bet you didn't know they sold white soul strawberry seeds because i sure didn't a lot of people will grow them from uh bare root stock starting from seeds is going to be kind of interesting this year the second variety is a regina strawberry all of these are closer to the wild strain than the commercial strawberries are so this is the golden alexandria strawberry um again this is sort of like an oblong weird shape and last but not least is this alexandria strawberry and this one looks about the closest to a commercial strawberry that there is in our little lineup this is the i'm not gonna try and pronounce that um but it's not your typical varieties that you get from bare root stock which is kind of nice and along the same lines we have the orange master pomegranate uh, most people just buy trees they don't start them from seed breaking away from that we have honey melon that i won't even try and butcher these grow small and they're sort of like a personal melon which is kind of what we're going for this year because we do live in the city we don't have a lot of space so we're really trying to get varieties that do well in small areas and next up we have some orchard baby corn um this is a very small corn ear and we're kind of excited about these now i saved this strawberry away from the others because when we received our order um it was actually left out so we let them know um their customer service was awesome they went ahead and sent us another pack so this is the yellow wonder wild strawberry um again it's not it doesn't look like the commercial varieties when it's white or i'm sorry this 
off-white yellowy color. It is fully ripe, so I'm excited to try these. And last but not least, they sent us a free seed packet, which was really nice. This is Paris Island lettuce, which we actually have several seedlings that just went outside of this type of lettuce. So this is one that we eat. This is one that we enjoy. Um, so that was really nice of them. It was really exciting to get this um, and see that we got a free little seed. Alrighty, so that's it for all of our Baker Creed seed packs that we got this year. Um, we're really excited about some of these varieties. A lot of them are unique uh, that you can't really get anywhere else. I will once again be sure to leave the playlist in the little i card or in the description box below whichever comes first make sure you guys like this video subscribe for more videos that are coming about seed hauls gardening um if you only have a little bit of space to grow that's sort of what we specialize in thank you guys for watching if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section down below and i will talk to you guys pretty soon